Hey there folks, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have, from that Mexican OT, Lone Star Luchador. So yeah, I'm covering this because of Johnny Dang that hit the Hot 100, and I was legit curious to see if that Texas rap revival scene had real juice, so I went back to check out that Mexican OT's mixtape from last year... And I really liked it. That Mexican OT reminds me a lot of early DaBaby, a gruff but somewhat goofy and over-the-top presence that can be funny without overselling it, but with a lot more slick double-time flows and a lot more Texas swagger, deeply indebted to the Ghetto Boys, Scarface, and specifically the mid-2000s Texas rap scene. Maybe a little Buster Rhymes there as well. Now, this is his full-length debut. The 18 tracks is kind of deceptive. There are five skits on the album that add flavor, but the humor is pretty eye-rolling, and all the songs go by pretty quick, and cause it is a pretty wild listen! And by that I mean it's wildly uneven, as you can tell that that Mexican OT is pulling from a grab bag of ideas and colorful experimentation, and it doesn't always coalesce, especially when he slides into melodies that are rooted more in Latin blues and rap rock that are swerves unlike the majority of what you'll hear this year. I don't know if they work per se, but they sure as hell sound unique. Now on that note, the writing can feel both very familiar in its gangster hedonism and the gunplay, rough sex, and drug abuse, but also full of a lot of whiplash tonal changes between more slick Texas cool, an unstable and very personal darkness reminiscent of early Scarface, and some very broad, borderline cartoonish moments that kind of remind me of Eminem at his silliness, for better or for worse. But that also kind of makes sense. The Lone Star Luchador framing goes beyond the skits for an exaggerated outlaw persona, the tragicomic rest wrestling heel that you like as much as you root against him. I just wish that we got a few more personal moments to add a bit more dimension to this guy. And while we are here, there are more than a few iffy bars, especially around sex, or there are the points where that Mexican OT will slide off beat and show that there is some work to do in tightening up things, especially in this flow. What I can say is that the production is often really good, especially with the guitar lines. A couple guest verses don't quite blend well vocally, but that's a minor quibble, especially on beat spanning trap to some throwback Texas rap with a lot of well-balanced and well-mastered southern swagger that sounds a lot more expensive than it probably was. But overall, yes, I know, it's goofy. It's probably for the best it doesn't take itself that seriously, and there's gonna be growing pains. But for a full-length debut, it shows a ton of promise and potential, and the best songs here have so much personality and charisma that I can overlook some smaller issues, especially when the album ends really well. Good stuff. Give this guy a shot, you might be surprised. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more reviews, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to get reviews on my schedule, link to my Patreons over there. And as always, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.